<laughs> Where are we going? We are going home. <laughs> uh, return trip from Barnegat Bay to the Chesapeake Bay, the Sassafras River. We like to leave places we're not familiar with at night. <laughs> it's uh, like 9.30 p.m. We're leaving in like half an hour. We go out Barnegat Inlet. And it should be, hopefully, fingers crossed, nice sailing down the ocean to Cape May. We'll see. Looking down Forkton River, uh, from Forkton River State Park Marina. See, it's 7.35 on Tuesday, August 20th. We're just offshore of Ocean City. Blowing a steady, at least a steady 15, uh, gusting the 20, I'd say. There's Ocean City. It's, wind's coming off the land, so the waves aren't huge. But there's, you know, decent, decent chop here. I have a double reef in the main, and the jib is rolled up pretty far. Last night was great sailing, broad reach sailing. Uh, had a top speed of 8.5 surfing a wave. I sailed most of the night. Uh, Katya Kat, sailed out of Barnicket Inlet and then uh, for an hour or two in the ocean and I sailed for a decent stretch and then she came up and sailed a little then I uh, then I took a nap and I'm back at it. So how was last night? I thought coming out of the bay was a little bit more difficult or challenging than I thought. Even though we had the track, as we were getting closer to the inlet, it was getting pretty rough and it was hard to see. Well, you couldn't really see anything, so you were just tossed around, not knowing it was going to happen. Um, and then just getting situated once we were out was a bit nerve-wracking on my part. How about the ocean conditions for your comfort level? <laughs> Just a, quite a few noises and movements. So last It's like being in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> it's tumbled around. So last night we had about four, four foot seas, maybe four to six foot. Uh, steady 20 knot, steady 50. It's certainly steady 15. Uh, definitely gusting over 20, maybe steady 20 at times. And it was a leftover swell from Ernesto. And the, that wave swell direction was in the opposite direction of the wind direction. So it was like, they call it a lumpy sea. And they do, they call it like a washer machine. Yeah. It was like kind of, you, you have, you have your general flow of waves and then you have some that hit you it's like boom boom just like yeah. a big thud breaking breaking waves the top of the wave would break and spray into the into the cockpit from the from the transom it's a pretty wet ride the boat is covered in a film of salt yeah now it's steady 15 and we're getting to the mouth of the delaware bay we're gonna Try sailing close hauled up the Delaware Bay. It's 3.20 p.m. on Tuesday. We tried to sail around Cape May and up the bay, but it was too rough. It was blowing like 25 there, and we were against a little bit of current. So we're, uh, we came back and uh, we're cutting the corner here. It's uh, 4.45 on Wednesday. We came up to Delaware Bay. Wind was on our bow, like the whole way. And then, so we were motor sailing and our engine started to overheat. And we made it um, about 15 miles from the canal. And we sailed around a bit right there and couldn't, um, it's not the impeller, it's not the strainer. Water's flowing to the impeller. Yes, maybe it could be the thermostat. We called Towboat US. Um, they're about an hour away. 
we were about 15 miles from the C and D canal, and they uh, took only took about two hours to get to us, and then they towed us the rest of the way up the Delaware Bay through the C and D canal, and a little bit down the Elk River, and now we're sailing our way back down the Elk River to uh, the Sassafras River, and then up to Sassafras. It was. Uh, they were great.